plastic pollution. The circulation of synthetic plastic products in the environment to the point that it creates problems to wildlife and their habitat as well as human populations. As of now, around 12.7 million tons of plastics were dumped by human energy, polluting the ocean. As the inhabitants of this earth, everyone should know that it takes up to approximately 1,000 years to disintegrate a plastic. If every one minute pass by, more than 1 million plastic bags are dumped worldwide. It is expected that these plastics will kill 100,000 marine animals and undoubtedly, this number is still increasing. If we are to take these plastic bags and surround the earth long video, they will circle and surround the earth for 4,200 times. These shocking facts are happening every day and is destroying our mother earth. Thus, it is almost important for us to take action before it reaches the point of no return. Now, let's talk about the causes of plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is mainly caused by the non-biodegradable nature of plastic itself. Due to the unnatural structure and links of the polymeric chain in plastics, it becomes an uncommon target for bacteria and other microorganisms for decomposition. For example, ethylene, which is derived from petroleum, is used as the monomers to form polyethylene, a long hydrocarbon chain that is very stable but also very hard to be deformed in natural environment. This, in turn, makes plastics almost impossible to degrade. Don't get me wrong, even though we now have bioplastics which can biodegrade, their biodegradation will still take months and within that time frame, they can still act like normal plastics and can cause the same negative impacts. Secondly, plastic pollution is also caused by the poor plastic waste management. Even at the recycling center, these plastics aren't completely recycled. In fact, half of plastic waste end up in landfills and only 20% of them are actually recycled, while the other 30% are used for energy recovery. Each of these plastics needs to be sorted into their own categories depending on their source materials. Sorting these plastics takes time and requires lots of money. And usually, only certain types of plastics which are valuable, such as PET and HDPE, are taken into consideration for recycling during sorting. As for those that are less valuable, they are collected as mixed batch. Since there are no market demands for mixed plastics, they are rendered useless and usually discarded during process. Therefore, plastic waste management needs to be studied and improved upon. In addition, taking a long time to decompose have been one challenge of plastic pollution. Different with others' material, the conversion of plastic takes 400 years or more, and this will not be including the overuse of plastic day by day. So, this caused the buy of plastic around the world and can be harm to the habitat, including aquatic organisms. We can't deny the fact that plastic pollution harms the marine organism, and studies have shown that most of them are due to anthropogenic activities. But have you ever thought about the adverse health effects to humans? They are raising concerns among the scientists that the chemicals used in plastic production has many health risks as it contains various endocrine disrupting compounds. For instance, bisphenol phthalates, which are widely used to make plastic bottles transparent, soften and increases the flexibility, have shown evidence that it may reduce fertility and prenatal exposure linked to lower testosterone. There's no doubt that microplastics can travel up the food chain as the marine organisms eat the microplastic this finally lands in our plate. And this is how plastic pollution affects humans. Nowadays, our oceans are polluted with plastic waste, threatening the lives of countless animals ever found in the ocean. Every year, 8 million metric tons of plastic end up in the ocean. It is reported that more than 100 million marine animals such as seals, whales, dolphins, seabirds, fish, and crabs are killed each year due to the plastic pollution caused by human hands. In matter of fact, such catastrophic environmental threat can lead to marine destruction consequences including entanglement of turtles in fishing net and whales washed ashore with plastic bags in their stomachs. Factors such as polymer type, age, and environmental conditions like temperature, weathering, irradiation, and pH will lead to the degradation of plastic waste into smaller pieces of microplastics and they are drifted in long distances as they move throughout the ocean currents. These chemical pollutants can leak into the stomachs of animals that eat plastic, causing many toxic effects. Sea animals often eat microplastics because of their smaller size 
which contains toxic chemicals that eventually can increase the chance of indigestible diseases and affect reproduction as well. After ingesting microplastics, seals and other animals may suffer for months or years before they die. This will slowly take away the population of marine animals. The reality is that the only way this problem can be addressed is by individuals and companies around the world agreeing to implement practices that produce waste on every level. So here are the top ways to overcome plastic pollution. So number one, impose higher charges for plastic bag. Penang is the first state to introduce the No Free Plastic Bag campaign on each Saturday since 2009 with a charge of 20 cents for each plastic bag. By doing this, it helped to achieve the overall objective of reducing single-use plastic from the ecosystem. Taxes and incentives can be also applied to a particular businesses such as supermarkets or plastic producers in order to encourage manufacturers to adopt alternatives to plastic. Next is purchasing biodegradable products. Are you aware of the fact that every piece of plastic that was ever made still exists on this planet? Yes. Product designers have started to think of new ways to apply sustainability and natural alternatives into manufacturing process. A new biodegradable material, unlike plastic, will not take years to degrade, might present new hope in a fight against plastic waste pollution. For example, the polythene bag can be replaced with a clothes bag or paper bag. Next. Why not we replace plastic spoon with the wooden spoon? Last but not least, it is better to use bamboo straw or other reusable straw instead of plastic straw. Other than impose higher charges for plastic bag and purchasing biodegradable product, we can also practice a culture of three R's which is reduce, reuse and recycle. It seems obvious but actually we are not doing a great job of it. For example, less than 40% of plastic waste is recycled. There are so many things we could do with our plastic bottle rather than just throw it away. We can reuse them as a plant pot, as a trash bag holder, a hanging planter, and even as a reusable bottle instead. Remember that the biggest impact is made by avoiding plastic in the first place. If that can be done, Reuse and recycling is the next best step. Be conscious of the amount of plastic material we are using and try to replace plastic with something more sustainable whenever possible. Recycling plastic takes less energy than making plastic from a raw material. Sure, it can be hassle to clean your peanut butter jar to recycle it rather than just tossing it in the trash, but the impact is vastly different and the choice is yours. You find that many young people waste massive amount of materials from paper to plastic bottles and more. By changing their attitudes and values, we can make a big difference in how much material ends up in the millions of tons of waste dumped into landfills and into the ocean around the world. So, what can students do about pollution? The first thing a student can do is to take personal actions against pollution right now. Students can change their own consumption patterns, they can recycle more and waste less. They can choose sustainable products from ethical manufacturers and they can avoid food waste by planning meals more carefully. All of these steps are good foundation for helping to create a more environmental friendly lifestyle. Beyond this, Students can work together to encourage family and friends to do the same. Areas types of plastic as well as the impacts of pollution caused by these materials on animals, human and environmental health to the extent that this information is available. It is because since 2004, the world has made as much plastic as it did in the previous half century. And it has been reckoned that the total mass of virgin plastics ever made amounts to 8.3 billion tons, mainly derived from natural gas and crude oil used as chemical feed stocks and fuel sources. But there is no simple solution to this complex and global issue. Policymakers and industry are currently taking decisions in a situation of high uncertainties. We should not forget that in some cases plastic material provide far more environmental benefits than drawbacks. For example, when lighter material leads to reduce CO2 emissions during transport. 
We can manage only what we can measure. Efficient metrics and accounting for plastic pollution are needed in order to guide sound eco-design and waste management strategy, while accounting for a complex environmental impact trade off. Despite all the urgency of action and day and the need for efficient metrics, it should not be forgotten that common sense solutions rely on the avoidance of literal or plastic overusage and such solutions need to be activated in